Hello everybody and welcome to another Nephilim Builds. Today we're going to go Berserk as Guts from Berserk. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. Also keep in mind that the Tome of Water is available on my Patreon at the $5 tier. With that said, let's start with the ability scores. Using the standard point array will put the 15 to strength. I think the sword speaks for itself. Next will be the 14 constitution. This man survives things he really shouldn't. We'll put the 13 into charisma. He's a scary motherfucker. Next is the 12 in dexterity for a little AC, and then the 10 in intelligence. We'll dump wisdom, there's no way he's not a little cracked at this point. For race, we'll go with variant human, taking great weapon master and putting our plus ones into strength and charisma. We'll also take intimidation and speak common and infernal. We'll take the mercenary veteran background, getting mercenary life, athletics and persuasion, land vehicles, and dice. Moving on to class, we're going to start off as a fighter. We'll get strength and constitution saving throws, choose perception and survival, and be proficient with all weapons, armor, and shields. At level 1, we'll get Second Wind in our fighting style, taking Great Weapon Fighting. At level 2, we'll get Action Surge. At level 3, we'll get our Martial Archetype, taking Champion for Improved Critical. Guts is nothing if not straightforward. At level 4, we'll get an Ability Score Improvement, which we'll use to take the Tough Feed. At level 5, we'll get Extra Attack. Okay, now that I don't have to wait 15 levels for that, let's get to Multiclassing. To start, we'll Multiclass the Barbarian, getting Rage and Unarmored Defense. And before you say it, yes, I know you can't Rage while wearing Heavy Armor. That said, the Berserker armor more closely resembles half-plate armor when not fully active. You can simply flavor your rage as the armor fully covering him. Sound good? Good, because that's what I'm doing. At level 2, we'll get Danger Sense and Reckless Attack. You're going to use this with every attack. At level 3, we'll get our Primal Path, taking Path of the Berserker for Frenzy. The armor literally keeps him fighting until he dies, so this is perfect. At level 4, we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which will put into Strength. Now we're going to multiclass the Fiendlock for Darkwind's Blessing. He didn't make the pack, but he is definitely part of it. At level 2, we'll get our Invocations, taking Agonizing Blast. The second one won't matter. At level 3, we'll get our Pact Boon, taking Pact of the Blade and choosing Improved Pact Weapon. And now the Dragon Slayer can cut Ghosts. At level 4, we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which will cap our Strength. And with a sword like that, you're going to need it. At level 5, we'll take Eldritch Smite just for giggles. I mostly want 3rd level spells. We're now going to take a quick dip into Paladin, getting Divine Sense to sense demons with the Brand of Sacrifice. We'll also get Lay on Hands for just a smooch of healing. And now that we've got the side orders down, back to the Entree. At Fighter Level 6, we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which we'll put into Constitution. At Level 7, we'll get Remarkable Athlete, and at Level 8, we'll get one last Ability Score Improvement, which we'll also put into Constitution. At Level 9, we'll get Indomitable, and at Level 10, we'll get another Fighting Style. We'll take Defense for just a smidge more AC. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. Now to talk spells. As a warlock, our spellcasting ability is Charisma. Spell save DC is 16, and our spell attack modifier is plus 8. At level 5, we'll have two third level slots and three cantrips. We'll take Eldritch Blast for the arm crossbow, Booming Blade for a bigger smack, and True Strike to fill the slot. We'll also have six other spells to choose from. From Fiend, we'll take Scorching Ray and Fireball for the literal hand cannon. From Warlock, we'll take Hellish Rebuke for another use of the cannon, cause fear because Guts is pretty scary, and enhance ability to fill the slot. Our last spell will be Spirit Shroud. You see, Dragon Slayer exists on both the physical and the astral planes, so you can't really prove it isn't doing all this magical damage. Going back to the main sheet, we'll take a great sword for Dragon Slayer and a set of half plate armor for the Berserker armor. Our AC will be 17, our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 199 with 4d12, 5d8, and 11d10 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next week when I try something new.